What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking Town Hall 14, this new air hybrid type attack that I've really been liking lately. Um, it's utilizing some of the new troops we got, one of them being the new super troop, the uh, rocket balloon, the other the new uh, troop to Town Hall 13, Town Hall 14, uh, which is the dragon rider, and both are very good complements to just regular dragon attacks at Town Hall 14, that's the focus of today's video, and we're going to be kind of going through how to use this. You can see already um, a pretty good setup here. It's very much a divide and conquer, uh, base specific type army. You're not just going to like, you know, face roll a bunch of uh, random troops on the screen and, and get it to three star, um, but with the right planning and some good execution, you can three star some bases pretty nicely with this army. And it doesn't always have to even be uh, totally perfect in terms of um, dropping everything at the exact right time, stuff like that. So we have, you know, some of the new air troop levels, the uh, the dragon, the electro dragon, getting those new levels at Town Hall 14 definitely makes it easier. Um, one of the things you're going to notice in these attacks we're looking at is um, typically the blimp is a good way to take out the Town Hall, which is otherwise a bit resistant towards uh, these types of attacks because you have to use the Warden's ability over it. Um, it's very high in hit points, does some good uh, damage. So oftentimes, yeah, you know, the Town Hall is going to be kind of separate from the rest of the base where there's a lot of value. So you're going to come opposite Town Hall and then use the blimp on the Town Hall separately. A um, couple other notable things, the Royal Champion is huge. As soon as the clan castle's been destroyed, that's when it's best to come in with the royal champions. So you don't lure out any like you know lava hounds, stuff like that. Sometimes it's already going to be lured out by like your king or your queen, so there's not much you can do. But um, very effective, the royal champion, and uh, you can see in this case gets cut up a little bit, but oftentimes that's going to be critical in taking out those last few buildings, especially like an air defense. You can see here, you know, despite the fact that pretty much everything's been destroyed here, there's still an air defense left up, which you know could have been an issue um, if it was just all air troops left because the not a lot of hit points among you know these dragons and the grand warden might have been a little a little close there but the royal champion makes it look easy coming in there for the three star so um, i'll try to break down this next attack a little bit more in terms of the different components of it um, but in a nutshell you're kind of just setting up a dragon attack using those um, dragon riders kind of as a hybrid almost like the hog riders in a typical ground hybrid um, where in this analogy the dragons or the miners um, and the, like I said, the dragon riders are your hog riders. Um, the names actually kind of work out pretty well there for the analogy. Um, you're going to use the, uh, the rocket balloons to kind of be more targeted because they have that haste effect for the first like few seconds. You can see here uh, coming in and actually getting all the way in there to that air defense. That was huge. I think only an investment of like two of those. So like, I think that would be 16 troop space coming in and just sneaking in and grabbing an air defense. Those are really the the, uh, the main value of those rocket balloons is coming in and uh, taking out some very like select parts of the base um, by just kind of blitzing them, uh, oftentimes getting like an air defense or something. In this case, using once again the uh, blimp for the town hall, which I think is a good move typically, instead of the yetis or the super goblins or anything like that, or the sneaky goblins rather, um, goes ahead and uses the uh, blizzard technique to also get that inferno tower a few other buildings in the area cc comes out just going to deal with it with the queen once again um, if you take out the entire clan castle troops then you can use your royal champion wherever if you have a, th a situation where the cc is deep in the base doesn't get lured for whatever reason then you want to be a little more careful use your royal champion later once you know it's not going to lure out any additional clan castle troops if there's like a lava hound in there or something which oftentimes there is um looking at town hall 14 right now okay so setting things up with the heroes um pretty standard stuff uh this is more of a variation on the dragon attack where um you have like the heroes kind of doing their own thing on one side and then it kind of feeds into like a one motion of the dragons coming through rather than like a two side funnel dragons in the middle um, that's uh, kind of the more classic variation, uh, but this is more of the, the newer one. Um, kind of nice how the king opened things up so the queen can come in there and uh, grab some more buildings, make an even better funnel. Really like the use of the E-Drag here, getting some good value, taking out a bunch of buildings with the chain damage. Going to get that archer tower too, I think. So that's a really nice funnel. The E-Dragon is a great funneling troop for these types of attacks. 
um, especially with that new level. And then the Road Champion just coming in the side um, once again with the, uh, the little P.E.K.K.A. pet. I forget the name of what it's called. Lassie, I think. Um, so just, just kind of complementing things nicely. Actually has a heal spell, which I thought was interesting. Um, you know, I guess it's not a terrible idea. Um, and then some freezes on the air defenses. You can see here we have the um, uh, the Dragon Riders doing a good job of staying focused on the defenses, as well as the Road Champion, of course. So um, you guys you know, can see in, in the video at the beginning of the attacks, the rough troop uh, composition you're going to want to bring. Obviously keep it specific to the base you're attacking and bring the right amount of each troop. Uh, if you need more of the rocket balloons to target like another air defense on the outside, then you know bring a few extra, bring a few less of the uh, the dragon riders or something something like that. Feel free to make trade-offs. Of course, I love the, the use of the minions on the outside of the base there to kind of speed things up because oftentimes time can be an issue, especially if you have a long setup like this attack did at the beginning. Okay, one more bonus attack gonna kind of deviate a little bit um didn't have a ton of those replays to show so i thought i'd just show another uh traditional uh attack that's been working really well and i think it's something that i definitely want to put out there because it's uh maybe a little simpler and something people might be a little bit more comfortable with this is the um just the mass electro dragon attack and the e-dragons are really good against these compact bases against these multi-inferno towers one thing I really liked was the use of first the early rages, the early warden's ability. Um, the E dragons are troops that you always want to make sure you're taking care of earlier rather than later. Um, it's going to be a lot more efficient if you do it that way. And also the use of the lightning spell on the air sweeper. The air sweeper is a big, big issue for E dragons, so it's worth that two lightning spell investment, especially because you have so many other spells typically. Um, you don't need all those rages or freezes often even. Um, so I really like how that worked out. Nice use of the invisibility spell on the Royal Champion to kind of help her get some extra value. Um, on a lot of these air attacks, like I said, the Royal Champion actually plays a huge role by being able to take out some of these uh, back-end defenses and kind of finish off the base uh, when the air troops are kind of slow and have difficulty finishing off that last 25% or so. As you can see right here, things are slowing down for the air troops, but there's the Royal Champion's ability finishes off that last air defense. And of course, like I said, using the Battle Blimp to get in there, get the Town Hall taken down. Um, I believe that was, yeah, that was also used it, some sneaky goblins in the, uh, in the, in the uh, battle blimp there to grab the town hall. So very, uh, very good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a quick win on showing some of these air attacks at town hall 14. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that creator code in the settings. I really do appreciate it. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code bisect in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.